Okay, yo, yo, what is going on all you wonderful dragons out there? Ted Dragon here bringing you all back to another video. And in this video, this is actually introducing the members of the BT comp team, you know. And this is in theater mode that I'm recording it in. I just remembered, you know, all my deaths. You'll see a five second delay. I'll probably do my best to, well, you know, I'll just switch from person Enemy's to person but basically this was a this had to be the closest game ever this was our second game testing now our you know team here and i don't know what player that is oh well i'd check but you know we have the enemy flag i don't really trust it but anyway this legit must have been the closest game we've ever had this here is the team basically we have me storms soul and that person isn't a part of the team the other member of the bt league team is bt thief we tried to get him in the first game we let's did go, but go. he wasn't like he lagged out and we didn't like really pick him up i don't get why i didn't we have the enemy flag oh whoops Oh yeah, that was our guy. Hostiles have taken our flag. But basically, as y'all can see, we actually just scored a point, and you know we probably could have won this a lot sooner. But Felipe here, I'm not putting all the blame on him. You know, that wouldn't really be fair because, yeah, I did some major mistakes as well. But he did choke a few things. You know, he probably could have easily won it if you all saw it from our perspective. Like, we were calling out, we were hype. Felipe didn't have a mic, and I just noticed that guy rush. Wow. But anyway, guys, basically, hopefully, y'all do enjoy this gameplay. And on the team channel, I might end up uploading our first gameplay, you know. I'll have to put it together if I do upload it. That's the only thing. You know, I'm fine with putting it together, but I don't really, you know, like waiting long. I'm in, I'm an impatient person. I'm pretty sure most of us out there are. But, you know, I'll probably upload it. If I don't, then it's another video. But basically, this team, I'm pretty sure we can do tons of damage like we might not do too hot for the score like for our kd or kill death ratio but we hopefully we haven't tested all four of us out together you know but i think we can do good that's just my opinion flea fate he made some good kills i'm not gonna lie if he had a mic i'd probably try to recruit him but the team for the league team is me, Salt, Storms, and Thief. And this is actually, I barely noticed this after I had all this ready. This is legit the original BT members. First me and Salt came into BT. Then we recruited Storms. And if you all saw, like, I think it was the first, well, probably the second video of the BT channel. You know, we were, well, Bad Brains, who was actually Storms, he messed up his account and he had to make a new one because he bought his real birthday, you know. And I'm honestly, like, surprised I lived right there. But basically, he had to make a new account and that's really all about it. And, you know, we had the member Thief, who was actually on his Zoom account back then. Like, not really long ago, but we basically took him from that team. This was whenever Salt was gone around around the Doltage days. Like, whenever I kept saying, oh, we'll upload it soon, don't worry. But, you know, we probably would have won this a lot faster. But I did choke a lot of kills. I'm not going to say only Felipe did because I choked tons of kills too. We all did. And, you know, I didn't really see Storms' perspection. I know Salt was really editing. Like, he was working on a remix for his remix's channel. But that guy, Titan, he's God. Legit. 
That's why he's called Titan. It's a draw. Stand down. And honestly, guys, I'm really sorry I'm recording this in theater mode. I kind of wish I wasn't. Like, I wish I had the playback still, but I probably don't, most likely. Capture the but yeah, as we're going into round two of two, we are tied with one and one. And this game, it comes down to the wire. That's exactly how it comes. And this video will be around 15 minutes long, so yeah, have fun. Basically, guys, the thing about this team that I'm worried about is we all will yell at each other from time to time. Like, that's how we are. You know, we'll get in fights. I wish we wouldn't because we're supposed to be friends. We are friends. That's a fact. We're all great friends, but, you know, great friends get in fights. You know, that's how it always goes. Say... I'm trying to come up with a explanation that won't, you know, really make me sound sexist or something. Well, alright, this is the definition okay. for girls from what I've seen. Basically, oh yeah, I'm surprised I kind of live. Untone, he shot me in the back. But here's the, you know, example. Say, there are two girls. One girl likes a guy the other girl likes the same guy these two girls are both best friends they get into a fight because of a guy that's basically how everything happens it's either over a girl over something stupid which is basically what happens between us like me and storms we get into it a lot i'm not gonna lie me and him fight everyone hates it even i hate it i'm not sure how he feels about it like He's a great friend of mine. It was mine, well, I guess really mine idea, not mine. I guess it was really my idea to recruit him, but I'm not really sure. I don't remember, but I know he was our first member in BT, and I'm really glad he's still in BT to this day. But that's one of the main reasons he's on the comp team. Like, I wasn't even planning this. I kind of did run into some really good members on the line that I want MBT, but yeah, that's not really going to work. But the thing about it is, you know, again, we may not have a high KD ratio, but we can do good. We can win this. Like, we win games. We've only played two games, basically. Then we got off and got on MW3 and kind of free for all. But basically, the first game, it was hard point on standoff, and again, Thief was supposed to join us, but he lagged out, and yeah, that, like, Host was really crap on standoff. Host, like, the reason I'm going to have to combine that film if I do record it is because of Host migration, and I don't have the playback or anything, you know, I probably don't have any audio either way if I did. But basically, you know, that's just how it happens for theater mode. I wish that's not what it did. But, you know, in this game, we're almost done with round two. And we almost had another point until that guy who I was searching for appeared there. And, you know, again, we're almost done with round two. And we're still tied one to one. We had to literally try our balls off here. Like... If they got a point, then we were screwed, you know. I just, after this, if they didn't get a point or we didn't get a point, it was going in overtime. And, you know, I was fine if we didn't get a point, but if we didn't get a point, I didn't want them to have them. And what I had to do because of the stealth chopper was end up getting my, well, the preset class, you know. And that's really what I did. I pulled this out. Be advised, hostiles have returned their flag. That, wait. Flag Honestly, I didn't even notice they got another point until they ended up telling me, like, and I ended up seeing for myself. But as y'all can see, I'm 11 and 20. Salt is 8 and 16. Storms is 5 and 19. The only people doing good are the enemies. Like, that's just, I don't get why that was. And there's 30 seconds left on the clock. This was a major play by Storms. Like, 
this had to be the most best play we've ever got him to us. I'm out. We were so hyped the second Storms did that. We were screaming, especially me. I was hollering my ass off. I was fine if I died right there. I kind of didn't want him getting a quad though. But like, we barely managed to win that. Well, tie that round up. And I'm just happy we could like that game. It's not over, but this game had to be the hardest game ever. Obviously, I already did say we won. Well, I'm not sure if I did, but now I definitely did. We did win this game. You know, we had to see. Like, basically, in this round, you know, we're into overtime. And if y'all don't know how it works, the first person to cap the flag, you know, the next round, the enemy has to cap faster. I didn't explain that at all. Good. One more down. Here's a better explanation, maybe. Um, they ended up capping the flag first. We had to cap the flag in two minutes or something. Two some, yeah, two minutes and seven seconds. If we didn't, we would lose. And we managed to cap the flag in less than that. About a minute 40, I think, or something. But that was barely enough time to actually win it. If they would have capped again, we would have definitely lost because it would have automatically ended the game and said they won. So, in my opinion, I had a feeling they weren't even going to try to cap anymore because they didn't need to cap. And this is the route where Felipe kind of kept going. That was the smartest route, but what sucked was he'd always choke going that way. And as you can see... Our flag is being held up in that beach place, I think. I don't know what it's called. Probably pool house or something. But it's being held up by that kid. Like, he's an actual kid. And then they end up rushing us. And Felipe doesn't keep flag. You know, I can't really blame him. And lucky enough, Saul actually managed to return flag. If he didn't, I'm pretty sure they would have ended up capping and winning. Well, capping sooner than they did. Because we most likely would have ended up losing this. Because, like, I guess this was really two minutes. So, it probably would have shedded some time. We did our best to, me and Storms here actually, we did our best to actually win that part. Like, stop them from capping, but... We couldn't really do that. This Foxy Mods dude was actually really good. And it sucked because we had to beat them in two minutes. Well, yeah, two minutes, seven seconds. If we didn't, we were done for. We would lose the game. And we were all hyped. I don't know about Felipe. He didn't have a mic. And as you can see, here are the scores for right now. Salt with 12-22. One capture, two returns. Me with 14.26, with zero captures, zero returns. Felipe with 14.29, zero captures, two returns. Storms with 10, yeah, 10.25, one capture, one return. And I was right by that guy camping there. I knew for a fact they were camping, and I just, I didn't want them winning. As you can see, we have about a minute 30 left, and I'm kind of, just shocked I just said minute like that but this is basically the same route he went I thought for a fact we had this in the bag I thought for a fact we won this right here like I knew they were coming at us and I got scared AF because of that here's flea phase perspective oh, never mind that was enemies whoops we have the enemy flag I was supposed to go that way but Felipe ended up choking and losing flag. That just made us all upset. It made us all butt hurt. And I couldn't help Salt out. I had to kill that guy. Luckily, I did. And then Salt just made the best play ever. I know what that's gonna be. And that's gonna be the end of the video. If y'all did enjoy this video and would like to see more of the BT League team, then please leave a big fat like. Don't forget, use the promo code DRAGON for Mod Junkies and Galvanized Grips. Don't forget, go subscribe to my second channel and to the team channel. And don't forget to follow me. My social medias will be down below. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out. Have a flaming day.